there's my audience. <laughs> In life, I have realized that I'm only weak as I make myself or only as strong as I can make myself. To put that into context, when you're put into a situation that you're not used to, it's easy to retreat to comfort and not take the situation hands-on. That is especially true when you have no choice or it's a very difficult situation. In my life, one such experience has proved that to me, that I am stronger than I believe and has made me realize things I didn't first know about myself. And that situation was when my parents had to move away because of work. My senior year of high school, my dad got a job offer and had to move eight hours away to Cleveland, Ohio. My mom left freshman year of college to move in with him after my first semester at Truman. The ultimate decision was whether I should move in with them or stay in St. Louis with my grandma. It was actually a relatively easy decision since I still wanted to continue my education at Truman since I was already there for one semester. Yet I underestimated how this would test my limits and aid me on my self-awareness. Slowly, I began to realize that I am capable of being independent and proving that I am much stronger than I once thought. At first, you see yourself as weak without the vital comfort of your parents being there, blindsided by dependency and unable to look beyond it. You are focused on the, how different life is, not giving yourself credit for realizing what is best for yourself. As time goes on, you realize your strength directly correlates with your independence. The more time you spend on your own, the stronger you get and the more independent you'll be. Doing little tasks on my own, like going to the grocery store by myself and getting my oil changed, gives me the confidence to do bigger tasks in my life. Gradually, you become stronger and stronger, as if it was your only option in the first place. This somehow becomes subconscious, almost like having an aha moment where you start doing bigger tasks without any guidance at all. Now I'm used to doing things on my own and that's actually how I prefer doing it. When you're forced to be independent, it becomes almost second nature and changes your overall perspective on life. This reflects my social self, with, which gives me the ability to communicate better with strangers and me being able to trust myself in anxious and awkward situations. Now, when you're faced with a decision that impacts your whole life, you must choose your battles wisely. Whether that means dropping all you worked for or mo and moving across the country or accepting the fact that the people who raised you won't be around as much. Having to choose your battles helps you grow from them and in the process discover access <laughs> aspects of yourself that have never surfaced before. I didn't actually know how independent I would be until it was my only option. From my experience of growing independent on my own, I have become more self-aware and have gotten the abilities to communicate, succeed, and form long-lasting relationships that have stemmed from this time of self-reflection. Even through, even though my parents still live far away, I still do communicate with them and have things to remind me of them, like this hat that my dad gave to me that was actually his before he left. Being so independent will definitely help me in the future and ultimately help me be a better version of myself.